We're seeing temperatures only in the 50s and some low 50s outside, 52. As we check in with our friend Lou Rue, he is up in Eagleville. Some clouds, he says high temp was at midnight. We talked about that yesterday, that, that was likely to happen. Daytime high, afternoon high, only 55 degrees. So whatever the temperature was at midnight last night, most of us were still in the 60s. Some spots were still in the low 70s. That's going to end up going in the record books as today's high. So when we look back on today, it's not going to look that chilly. But it was 57 degrees as we check in in Gloucester Township with David Dutch and just a few signs of fall in the forecast here. Lynn showed this one. This shows a good uh, kind of interpretation of what happened today. A lot of sunshine midday, lots of blue sky. And then by 3.30 when she left work, the overcast was in. Love this from Walter. He says, can't procrastinate any longer. Time to pick these chili peppers and perfect timing because it is now chili season. So put it on the stove and enjoy it on a nice cold evening, Walter. Let's take a look at what's going on right now. We'll take you out to storm scan three. And as we take a look at the big picture here, you can see a front stalled to the south. That's the same boundary that came through for us last night, and it's just kind of sitting there with a new disturbance working its way along it, producing rain across portions of Tennessee, in, even into Mississippi and Alabama. This has brought some very, very cold weather even into Texas. Now, this rain is going to stay south of us. That's going to head out to sea as we go into tonight. There's another cold front right here starting to push into the Great Lakes, and that's what will come through late tomorrow and kick up some very strong gusty winds. So multiple fronts. First one passes off to the south. The second front comes through tomorrow. And again, we're really going to see those temperatures knock down again starting Thursday. So clearing and chilly overnight. Boundary pulls through tomorrow and then Thursday feeling more like November than October. Now tomorrow, while it's not quite as chilly as today, it's going to be windy, so that means it's going to feel probably even colder when the winds pick up in the afternoon as that front approaches. So wind gusts at about 10 a.m., 19 miles an hour in the city, 23 miles an hour there in Allentown. But by mid-afternoon, watch these winds pick up. We could see winds gust over 30 miles an hour at 4 o'clock. That's one of the days where you're walking down the street pulling your coat tight around yourself, especially in the city where the wind tends to accelerate through the buildings there and still blustery tomorrow night at 11 o'clock. It's a dry day. But it's windy and it's chilly and we're talking about the season's coolest day Thursday. The forecast high only 52 average high 66. What's funny is that in the winter at the end of winter when we get our first 52 degree day, it feels like summertime outside. But this time of the year, it feels very, very cold overnight, mainly clear, seasonably cool at 47 tomorrow, mostly sunny, windy but not all that cold. 62 is the daytime high. Your weekend watch, we're talking about clouds and a shower chance Saturday, mostly sunny and breezy on Sunday. It's a mild start to the weekend. Then part two of the weekend turns chilly. You can see Saturday a little warmer, but we have the chance for showers on Sunday, breezy and cool for the Eagles game at 54. And then it looks dry and starting to warm up a bit into next week. Alex and Joe, back over to you.